All right. Hey, this is Sunday, December 17th. This is Andy with our dailies here at Buddies I'm Never Daniel. Die. Well, that was not obeying my cue. I had my cue card. <laughs> uh, the cue card wasn't even up, but that's fine. Yes, that's Daniel there. Uh, Austin is nowhere hey, to be Daniel. found. Oh. <laughs> well, hey, Daniel, since you're so talkative, where the heck is Austin? Because he's not with us right now. Yeah, Austin got carried away by bed bugs. It's a huge problem. So, <laughs> hey, maybe you guys should clean your house. No, just kidding. Yeah, they're very clean, actually. They're very clean. Uh, so he's just not here with us. So maybe it was bed bugs. We'll find out soon when he contacts us via <laughs> uh, via email. Via email, um, Austin. If you're listening to this, email us. Where yeah, please, you? please pick up this SOS. Um. I was meddling in Google News again, which I always seem to get in trouble over there Huge at Google mistake. News. And yeah, um, uh, there was a terrifying report. Uh, so I love the science section of Google. I believe every single thing I see there. Uh, but they, this is, I'm pretty sure is confirmed. Remnants of an ancient penguin that stood as tall as a human have been found encased in a rock on a beach in New Zealand. They estimate this used to exist at 220 pounds standing at five foot 10 inches. It's terrifying. It's a terrifying. 220 pound five foot 10 penguin. It's terrifying. <laughs> no wonder men put him in the ground because I, yeah, no wonder he was encased in rock. Like <laughs> the, what happened to all the Neanderthals where they were trying to, I mean, like think about it. They had mammoths and, and penguins the size of man. Like a huge man too, like a two hundred twenty pound, five foot ten, jacked out of his mind, bro. That's a big penguin. Yeah, it's not yeah. funny. It's not. See, that's what I thought when I saw it. I'm like, this isn't funny anymore, or it used to not be funny anymore. Uh, when right, everyone was probably a freaking monster. Yes, that's it. So called, called the waddler or the, the wa- yeah, the all the, the the youngsters on their canoe trip. Yeah, Grandpa used to warn us of the wa- the waddler. What'd you call him? <laughs> Yeah, let's call it the Wappler. The the Wappler. Watch out for the Wappler. He swims right up and destroys canoes. Dad. Well, dude, have you ever seen a freaking penguin swim? They're like bullets in the water. Oh, yeah. Oh, and a 220-pound bullet. Oh. Bro, seriously, think about that. They slide like on their bellies in the ice. That thing coming at you, terrifying. Uh, I'm just so glad it's in the the rocks and just bones now. (laughs) I... If they try to, here's here's my fear. Scientists are so curious and they're so smart that they try to reanimate this stuff. Jurassic Park's not too often the truth. If you make, I, 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 here's the thing, humans, fellow humans, if you make, <laughs> if you recreate a 220 pound penguin, Wappler, a Wappler, if you make Grandpa's Wappler that he warned all the young canoe boys about, <laughs> I will, I will, um, I will Don't bring back Grandpa's Wappler. <laughs> I will up movie myself to space. I will get a ton of helium balloons and just leave. I can't do it. I can't do it, man. Thank God Grandpa's Wappler is merely bones encased in rock. That's the only way I want to see. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. That Wappler needed to go. Scientists. Dear scientists. Dear scientists, this is the buddies from the Buddies Never Die podcast. Andy and Daniel, we please, we beg you, do not reanimate the Wappler. The <laughs> Wappler was put aside, encased at great cost. A whole village gave their lives to encase the Wappler in stone, and it's now only Wappler bones. Please do not take its bone marrow and reanimate it into a Jurassic dinosaur Wappler. We oh, do not want to see that. My God. Yeah, it's no, official. you're right. Yeah, it's official. We don't want to see that. So uh, please, scientists, if you're listening, li- just just hear us out. Just like do one freaking favor for the small guys, the little guys. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? Just listen to us. If Jurassic yeah. Park movies aren't enough to show you what happens, just li- listen yeah. to us, man. Dude, I think we should be naming the dinosaurs. The Wappler, the Gosler. <laughs> What's the a fly- Gosler? The fly point. <laughs> uh, flying- Ventridactyl. The yeah, fly point. A, see, I think people get it right away. That's a fly point. Look at that sucker. Yeah, the screams, Shark. the screams from the humans seeing some of this stuff. Yeah. Oh my gosh, seeing a wappler, I would, I'd, I'd drop mm-hmm. a wappler in my pants. <laughs> I'll tell you that. That <laughs> That's would the not only be word good. you could get out. Wappler. I- <laughs>
That's why they call it a Wappler. That's a that's a big Wappler. I'm actually going to use the word Wappler. It's such a great word. It's like, look at that Wappler. It is. Maybe hey, real quick. Maybe that's where the Olympic sport of cool with the Olympic sport cool runnings movie uses. What the heck is that? Uh, Bob sledding. Bob sledding. Thank you. Hey, Bob sledding was uh, was. It was Riding a in, Wappler. It was interpreted <laughs> into bobsled, but it, but it was the it was the canoe boys riding a Wappler down an ice tunnel, and everyone's like, "Shoot, we got to make this into a and yeah." Well, like in the movie Avatar, like a young warrior proves his worth by riding a Wappler <laughs> down an ice slide. <laughs> So cool runnings is way has a way deeper meaning than we think. It is. It's a huge deal. In prehistoric times, a young man couldn't take a wife until he rode his Wappler <laughs> down the ice. First, you must catch Wappler and ride it down the ice. I oh didn't my. know how Neanderthalic to get there because I didn't want to be weird. But like, yeah, I'm going to tell my son that. I'm going to just make it up. I'm just be like, listen, son, like you, ha- you have it so easy, bro. Like in the old days, you would have had to catch and ride a Wappler. Yeah. Down the ice before any woman would even look at you. (laughs) All the Neanderthal women would be like, have you ridden a Wappler? Oh, where's your Wappler tooth? Your Wappler beak. You got to wear a Wappler's beak around your neck to know you're a man. Boy. Show me your Wappler. Let me see your Wappler beak. Gosh, I could literally say Wappler all day. I love it so much. Who made that up? (laughs) It was you. What'd you say? A Wappler? I misheard you say something. So that's where the word came from. Yeah. Well, if you uh, like this little snid bit, go, uh, go go take a Wappler ride over to yeah. iTunes and go to iTunes.com and uh, search Buddies Never Die in the podcast section. You'll find us. It's three pictures. Uh, it's not three pictures, Daniel. It's one picture, <laughs> three dogs, and a tiny invisible Wappler in the background. It's, yeah, you can't see. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I can't wait for Austin to, because we're going to use Wappler all the time now for some reason. It's like the potty box does. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, that's one Wappler of a tail. So, uh, <laughs> check us out. Uh, you can look at our Facebook, facebook.com forward slash buddies never die. Check us out and we'll see you tomorrow on the daily. You can check our show out. Comes out on Wednesdays or Thursdays. Andy, I can never remember. Anyway, thanks so much for listening. Have an amazing Sunday.